Was he fit? Was he worth it? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Here, come on. Yeah, don't come here and ask us questions, man. Don't come man. here and ask questions. Yeah, We're going to be really bad. It's, it's going to be a mess with your life. Have we lasted 24 years? I just don't even know. We haven't killed each it's other. It's Chris Ma, my chum. Hey, beautiful people. Welcome to another podcast. My name is Sarita and this is Stevie K. Okay, guys, we are husband and wife, if you're new here. Husband and wife, we are married for 24 years. It is right, right? Because I got it wrong in the last one. <laughs> 24 years, just checking. I got it wrong in the last one. And yes, um, we are here to answer all sorts of questions and just talk about life in general, things that we've been up to, things like just, yeah, just life in general. People ask us a lot of questions. So we thought we'll do, we'll start off these podcasts and maybe answer these questions that we keep getting flood loads off. Like we need to, you know one thing we need to do? So we if anyone knows do, how to do this. Yeah, it's like come up with an idea of where people can actually write to us. Like, you know, maybe even have categories of what they want, one answer so we could have friendship, relationship, parenting. Sex. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Marriage. You know, everything. Because the fun, amount of questions. Friends. I don't know about you, but my inbox is full. I have Instagram messages. I have TikTok messages. I have e emails. People ask me questions. And it's like, you can't, like, I, I don't know. I just can't seem to, like, remember them all. So having one particular place that we can go to, where people can write in, mm -hmm. would be great for us. So I think we need to start something up and look into that. Okay. That's something we need to do. But anyway, how's it doing? <laughs> anyway guys I want to say obviously for you guys who are on Spotify you know you won't be able to see so you'll have to jump onto the YouTube I'm not glammed up for podcast today at all overdressed this wasn't overdressed this was not planned yeah overdressed probably got like you know, brand new clothes and can't wear them anywhere so let me just wait for a podcast oh please That's oh really... please I do have those days where I have all these clothes sent out to me and I'm like so where then you just can't wear them for a podcast so I'm going to wear them for a podcast guys so this if you want to know where it's from and you want a discount for it then yeah link me up oh this is just from Hollister he's had it for like 15 20 years um <laughs> that's no joke <laughs> anyway if you're on Spotify obviously you can't see um my outfit is I'm loving it. Come, come to the YouTube video. I'm loving video. this outfit. Like, it's been a while since I wore black. But anyway, we are going out. So this is all so last minute. The week has been so, so busy. So I'm sat here in a beautiful outfit. And in about an hour's time. Do you say in about an hour's time we're going to be heading out? Um, I don't know. Because the Liverpool games. See, we have a concert to go to, which I'm super excited about. We were only out last night. And yeah, we we're on a... Um, comedy sort of a show last yes, night so it's just uh, really couple show my show let me just say it, it was amazing so like it's just like there's no time for anything so this podcast is literally either we would have done it tomorrow morning and banged it out first thing to you guys because it is a monday <laughs> shut up i know what you're laughing for but <clears throat> okay that kind of nearly made me dare <laughs> but it's like we've got Trust no awards. time We've got no time, so we're going to do this. So I'm not dress dressed up for you guys. Cheers. Then again, I could be. Yeah, then we've got another concert tonight. We're going to so, Adnan Sanmi. Yeah, it? yeah. Adnan Sanmi? Yes, yes. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. So time's like crazy at the moment. How how are you with everything like what's going on? And see, she asked me this, right? And then she just went on, on and on, on for about yeah, half an hour. And yeah, because now she's I come had back to jump in and I'd tell you guys why I'm all glam -sham. It's not because of podcasts. It's because I'm we're going, going out, loves. We're going out again. I don't so, think he's going to see me, so I'm just wearing this. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. God. Anyway, so anyway, how, yeah. do you, how do you feel about how the week's been? Or how has your week been? Okay, um, even though we've done the podcast last week, and obviously we haven't done it this way of asking how things have been, I think the past couple of weeks, few weeks, have been a bit hectic. Uh, actually, not a bit, very hectic. I think I've worked less. I haven't been focused on work at all, uh, as much as I normally am. I've been more distracted with everything else that's been going on. Mm. And I'm constantly sort of trying to sort out other things. Um, it's like a certain time period of trying to get all these things done. And either A, I want, them, want it done, or B, I just want the time period to go by so I can just move on. <laughs> and now you have something else to add to your list. You need to find out, or we need to find out, how people, because like I was saying earlier, 
how people can write into us because we're getting emails, we're getting messages here, there, everywhere. So we need do. one place where you guys can send us your questions so we need to come up with a solution and yeah. you need a partner who listens and maybe excuse me oh no i'm just saying you just asked me something now like saying yeah and then you just took it somewhere yeah else. because that's something else we need to oh, do okay so, so it's you stick thing. on my list yeah e- okay yeah 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 so i, I have to do yeah yeah okay well, yeah i have a million and one things to do oh yeah, yeah because I, i'm normally just free oh, are we I, gonna get into an argument no i'm right just saying I, i'm just looking Seriously. for holidays for everyone i'm just like trying to sort out the calm sort out the other things I'm trying to do the work. I am doing podcasts. I'm doing this TikTok. But I've got to also do that. But this, yeah, I'm not doing the work that I'm supposed to be doing. And this this um, glam sham lady just sits here looking pretty all day. That's what, people, that's what I you didn't kind say of make it, so. out to be. So don't even let me start on all the list of things that I have to do. No, I'm just saying. Right, but like, okay, so it's something we both need to do. Anyway, just wanted to put that out there. That's going to be on cool. our list of things to do. But otherwise, do you feel better today? No. You don't. So how are you? How am I? Could I mother just go there? I, I feel like I've been the same as well. This week's been crazy, guys. It's been like crazy. Obviously, the girls have come back from uni and it's like sometimes you want to spend time with them so you can't really work and you kind of put that to the side and you're kind of catching up with everything. Um, new things keep coming our way and it's like, oh, where is that going to go? Obviously, what everything, most of the stuff that you've just explained, so that's been up in the air as well. But like, you know, truthfully, if you ask me... I didn't explain anything. I didn't say anything yet. <laughs> yeah, like the X, Y and Z, like holiday, this, that, the other, what you're going to do. Yeah, and the weather's been crap. We had two days of sun, which was fab. Anyway, hmm. but if you ask me how... Like, you know what, this today and yesterday, especially last night, like... I just, like, want to say it again, and I know I say this a million times, but... I'm feeling like like on cloud nine and it's like I feel like things are just yeah things are just unraveling and just so 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 grateful for magic flicks and the things the opportunities that it's been bringing our way and stuff like that that's how I've been if you ask me anything that's how I'm feeling and last night was just so magical that we got we're getting to do things and it's just like getting to do things that we've never done before and the experiences are just amazing and people who are reaching out are it's just so lovely and just like on our journey there yesterday last night we were discussing between ourselves that like we've not done stuff like this we've been married mm-hmm. believe it or not guys again if you're new 24 years we've married and now we're able to do the things that we've never done before comedy shows just shows all together just so many different things and it just feels lovely that I think it's that gratitude and just like feeling happy about it. And I, I know it's been there. We've been doing it for a while now. But I think because it was new and you're just getting into it and whatever else not, I just feel like I'm so much more relaxed and I'm like, this is love. This is just finally. And just, yeah, that that's what I'm feeling. Cool. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Yeah, so it's been it's been nice, and I'm looking forward to this evening as well. Mm. And and it's just that it's like the open reach that you have with all sorts of people. Me saying that now as well, I say that because obviously I jump on all sorts of platforms and I do whatever else not. And it's like knowing that there's people out there who are like just with how we are, like ask questions and stuff, and they're kind of inspired in a way. The questions that come our way, just actually saying that, saying that. I was asked, you know, I'm going to get my phone out because I ain't going to remember the question fully. But I feel like, like going back to um, having people write to us, we need to come up with some kind of way. And maybe I can have my laptop and I can go through them, the mm-hmm. questions as well. Mm-hmm. We can answer them and have a giggle or whatever else. No, it could be two about anything, guys. Two different perspectives, but I, guys. Yeah, I was on, like I said, I jump on TikTok, yeah? Two different perspectives. Exactly. So I was on TikTok the other day and someone asked, a, a girl had asked a question I get random questions and I'm always like, oh, you know what, screenshot that one. Um, But the question was, has your parenting style been influenced by how you were raised? And I thought that's really interesting. Like, I'd like to answer that. Like, can I save that for today? Mm -hmm. Hopefully, hopefully she didn't mind because bless her, she asked. Well, we'll keep that. the names anonymous, so we ain't gonna mention yeah. who it is. So I'm sure loads of people feel or think or want to questions answered. But like I said, two different perspectives. Uh, you know, uh, so from my point of view and yours, we are we never think in the same way anyway. So no, we'll, and I think that's what people love about us so. as well. Like 
They I think that's that. what they've been missing with me not coming on, on TikTok podcast. at the moment yeah. because they're coming on there and normally Israel will just say something and we normally have our sort of differences or, yeah. or differences of opinion or sometimes same but you just see things in a different way. And, and it's that the fact that you can always come back to, this, this is why another reason for all podcasts, you can come back to actually re-watch or you know, if you haven't seen it, whereas that's a live we do together. Um, so, yeah, finding other ways that people can still go back. So that question that was asked, I was like, it's been on my mind, like, considering it's been a couple of days now, I'm like, it's definitely, obviously people can probably see that and feel that. That's mm. why they're asking that question. Um, and again, I don't know whether it was the same girl who asked, who, who had said afterwards that her parents, I can't remember for someone else, had said her parents are in the are quite young as well. They're in their forties, and she can't talk to them at all. You know, they're still very strict and that kind of way. And I was just like, oh, okay, like, and she's obviously like, so they see how we are, and they're like, maybe that's where that question come from. Is that, you know, is it because of what your your, your parenting was, your childhood was, or that you are the way you are with your kids? I feel that well I think that's just so easy to answer it definitely is from what I went through growing up from a youngster just to teenage years um early adult so many things so many things that I even from now like I can remember and I always just say that and to me I know I've said it many times if you watch any other podcasts of ours like I've always wanted to marry early, have children. I knew how many, well, not how many, but I knew I wanted a big family. And I know at that young age, whatever used to go on or whatever I saw observed straight away, that is not happening. I'm not going to allow that to happen when I have children, when I have kids. I'm going to be like this and that all because I've been through this. This is no chance happening with my kids at all. So many different things. So, yes, and I think that's why she asked because you can actually see it because still, again, yeah, there's... I've not come across any parent, I'm not saying similar age, mm -hmm. who are like us. It'd be nice to, because I know there are people like us who are like, allow their children to live their lives and, you know, grow, have the freedom, be themselves and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But I've never come across one of something that people look at us and think, well, wow, like kind of thing. So for me, that answer is yes, definitely from how I was raised and how I want to bring my children up as well. I'm not sure about you, if um, it affected you. Um, yeah, I, I think it's the same. Uh, I mean, two things happen, aren't they? Um, either A, you end up being just like your parents, because <laughs> you think it's just normal, mm. and you know, you just carry those sort of traits, those um, you know, things that they believe and the way yeah. that they did things yeah. and you just think that you know you just normalize it and yeah. you're like thinking we want to carry it on because you think that it was all good yeah regardless it depends on how you see it or you could go the other way and go in no i wasn't happy about that and it doesn't always have to be about you know listening to your parents and yeah. talking or that it could be anything or you just turn around and you say um i'm going to do things differently because i wasn't happy with yeah. it or i wish things were different so you end up becoming the they say like becoming the person that you wish you had yeah. as a child kind of thing yeah. you know and I think with me is it was that it was more or less um want to be a parent that yeah that you know obviously how my parents work with me kind mm. of thing because my parents were workaholics uh mm. I mean I work quite a lot get, don't get me wrong but my parents are workaholics and they're still till this day so if you imagine they're in their late 60s and stuff like that and they really, I, I never saw them have real time kind of thing. And I'm not saying, oh God, they had to like buy me the most expensive stuff or take me around all the world and all that kind of things. It was just like, like you said, it's just the hot heart, one-to-one, -one, sometimes just going, how you doing? Yeah. How are things? How's school been? Uh, what you're interested in? Not what you're interested in to see, you know, I like think... comparing me, but just basically the things that matter and then me being able to openly speak to them yeah i think there's still things that i wouldn't adjust with my kids i feel like our children can speak to us and they have done and we've raised them to be sort of individual unique not like each other but i still feel like we've still got a 
you know, because there's a transition period. There's one thing having youngsters and you raise them in a certain way and you still look at them as kids and you're going, yeah. we know better kind of thing yeah. with the adult, you're the kid, yeah. which is what everyone does. But you've got to remember how it felt for you when you were that age but as well. now I think, uh, it was just something that the girls were saying not so long ago kind of thing. I just still feel that I'm in this transition period where I'm going, okay, now they're older um, or mature and wiser. Obviously, they're still going to grow up because at that age, I wouldn't say mm. I knew everything. Mm. But I still feel like, listening side yeah. you know like when they're listening i think me and you and this is open and honest i feel like growing up how we were we learned to be very defensive mm. and put you know defenses on that as soon as someone basically either tries to criticize or say something we're more left going ah, like you know whatever i just feel like there's that one side of our kids are growing up and it's like they can talk to us about everything and anything but then I still think that there must be some things that they want to say without us like either feeling bad or with us like being defensive. I that see. openly and freely going, yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah, okay, if they sort of give us mini sort of yeah. criticism that, guys, yeah, we loved how you like were yeah. and you did all this. Yeah. But there was these some things that made us feel X, Y and Z and we'll be going, justify, justify, justify. Mm. You, you know what I mean? But you like don't know where we come from and what we do. We're still better than this. I do think we that do. we do that. Yeah. And I don't want to do that. I yeah. want to be able to go, okay, put your cards on the table, say it, and me just going, okay, I didn't see that, or I didn't see it from that point of view. But guess what? You are right. Yeah. I did do that. And I instead of me then putting it over and saying, but did you know how you like were, or how this, or this person, that person, or what, trying to justify why I was doing what I was doing, instead of going, okay, I'm listening. Yeah. You know what? Okay, if that's how you feel, maybe it wasn't what, but I don't have to say that. I'm just listening. Yeah. Okay, if that's how you felt, then I'm sorry for making yeah. you feel like that. And I think it's that. It's about growth. Yeah. And I think sometimes with parents, there's one thing, raising your kids and knowing that they're kids and you're the parents and you feel that you're the adult and they're the child and, you know, you've got to protect them and look after them. And like I said, we do individually let them do what they want. They could talk to us about boys. They could talk to us about their friends. They could talk to us about... Anything that they've gone through, they, you know, they don't want to do, they make their own choices, they make their own mistakes, they can. But I think when it comes to them talking about us, I think we're on the defensive because yeah. of how we've always felt that we haven't yeah. had that support. We need to defend ourselves. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. And I, I don't want to do that anymore. I just want to be basically going, I'm okay to take you okay. and you're okay to talk. Yeah, I agree with you there. I, I feel exactly the same. So people ask us questions, oh my God, because they look at us and think, wow, what kind of parents? But when our own children, I feel like our own yeah. children are like, yeah, then might like seem so great on the outside because we still, I, I would still put my hands up and say, I do exactly that. You know what? We do that defensiveness and we're like, Definitely. yeah, but you haven't been through what we've been through. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you can't keep doing that, can you? But because yeah. it's been, it, it's or like, did you know the circumstance why we did that? Yeah. Or you know, you, but you like weren't they? like. I, I think it is because people didn't defend us, uh, and still till now, we learn to sort of like defend ourselves. But yeah. we create those walls. But then we've also like our kids. You just look at That's them as not kids, exactly. But now that they're older, I think they're more or less going. We liked all this, and the only reason I'm saying this, number one, they could be listening, and it's not just because of that. They could they could turn around and go. Yeah, it's all right for you like, to say this, but you know what? We just want to say. Yeah. But I'm listening and hearing a bit more of their similarities going, yeah, it's just like each individual going, That's gonna... I just want to be able to tell you, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Just listen. That's going to be their stories. Like, I just want to tell yeah. you stuff without you like, saying, well, it was harder for us or this is what we went through. And we have been through a period of time where we've been doing that, especially when things have been quite difficult. Yeah. And I think that's something we need to definitely stop doing it's it, it i i'm definitely one for it as well because it's little things that you see them and you just feel like uh, sometimes i feel like they're just like yesterday for instance do you when, remember yesterday when Raina was talking like you know Raina mentioned something that you know they all were having this conversation about and i think she was generalizing because i asked her a question mm. i asked her the question and she was generalizing something yeah, yeah, yeah. and she was just like going that these are some things that you like used to say and make us feel or these are some things that you like did and then what ended up happening is even though they were generalizing not saying you was or you was it yeah. was like more or less like going 
Oh, but I think what they also, which is fine, I know what exactly what you're talking about there. But what I was thinking about that the other day was like, okay, I was I was still getting a di- bit defensive. Yeah, yeah. Okay, was um, was I like that? I, I have said those things, but what I feel like they don't understand is you're doing it again. No, but it's, <laughs> it's having an understanding of theirs. It's having an understanding of what they're feeling and thinking and listening, but also then understanding why that person was doing what they were doing. So for me... But the thing is, it's if they ask you... This is us having an actual... There's always a reason, if, isn't there? Yeah, but the thing is, you don't have to justify unless... See, what you're doing is, again, what I'm trying to say, this is what I think parents do. Well, I think where I want to go with it is, like, you know, like this girl basically said that she doesn't feel like she could talk to her parents. Mm. We didn't go into what does she mean mm. that she can't talk to her parents. Mm. Like, you know, they're quite strict, she says. And mm. she is in her 20s and they're like in their early 40s. Yeah. But she, yet she doesn't feel like she can talk to them. This is like, you know, if you were to ask our daughters and they were going to go on a show, they go, well, our parents, we can't really talk to them. Yeah. Because, and, and, you know, it could be the same thing. But what I'm saying is sometimes parents look, not just parents, Every, obviously, every adult looks at things in a totally different way, either because of their upbringing or because of other things, or they think they're protecting you or they're protecting themselves because of their own childhood traumas. But what I mean is with a daughter, it's like now you just went, well, they don't understand. See, this is what the parents would do. Exactly. Every parent, that girl could go, I understand. I want to date this guy, but you don't understand what I went through. My parents never let me, or I did go out with someone and that didn't work. And yeah. I don't want you to go through making the same mistakes. Do you see? And then it's like, you don't understand. But instead, what if we did this? We just went, listen, we listen, you tell us what you felt. Mm-hmm. We don't have to justify it or tell them, do you understand why we did? Yeah. Instead, you just listen. I, and then I when really we understand. And then when we just listen, if they ask the question of, this is how you like made us feel, this is what we thought and all that, it's just basically going, okay, we understand. And if that's how we made you feel, then... I'm sorry, mm. or, you know, it wasn't my intention, but just leave it at that. Mm. Sometimes they're not asking for you to, you know, justify or explain. They don't want that. Yeah. They're just more or less going, this is how we felt. Not like, you know, and instead of going to a ther- child, going to a therapist and going, this is how I felt, and the therapist just listens. I'm going, but did you know, they're not doing that. They're just trying to be heard. And it's like us, if we were to talk to our parents, we just want them to go, do you like, no, how you like made us yeah. feel? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know what? I'm, you know, if they were to then say, why did you do that? Or why do you feel that you made, like, you know, did what you did or said what you said, then you could turn around and go, to be honest, I feel I said that because of X, Y, and Z. Or I did that because of X, Y, and Z. Because they asked. But if they haven't asked, then I feel like it's just going, sometimes it's just like going, can you just hear what I'm just trying to say? I would have wished that some, this side was all great. If this side was different, maybe I would have been happy. Understood. And then you go, oh, okay. Okay, understood. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm just, yeah, I get, there's I people get. listening. I'm just sure that, no. and this is me trying to say for, I'm not telling you this, or I'm not telling other people. I'm trying to understand it yourself. I think I'm just saying this to me, that there's this side of me that's now looking at it and going, yeah, you know, well, there's so many things. I'm, I'm there to protect them. I'm there to help guide them. I'm always saying, come and talk to me about everything. But am I listening to them in the way that they want to be listened mm. or, or heard? Sorry. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Or am I listening to them in the way that I want to listen? Yeah. So, yeah, you can tell me, but um, already I need to have an answer and explain why. Instead of going, just tell me. That's okay. You know what I mean? Mm. And I think it's me right? want to sort of wise up and mature in to the father that I would like to be. Mm. Not having to say, well, do you know what I went through with my dad or with my mom and how they were with me? You like should still understand that. You like had it better. I guess better you don't then. really have to say no, it they see matter. it anyway for themselves and would understand. But sometimes we do. And I, I know I've been one of those. But it, for me, it's not those being the motherly material is something like the question that was brought the other day for me that is something completely different so that's why I was kind of like well maybe she doesn't need to know and when she's ready and she's grown up enough or she wants to feel like she wants to know then yeah. those and no, I think the other thing is it's like um, we shouldn't sort of compare them I mean each individual children I mean just like us if I, like they turned around and said oh you know dad you more you know you handsome or whatever mum's smarter than you and all that it's not always nice, is it? Like, you know, we would turn around and go, wait a second, you're like, I don't have to say these kind yeah. of stuff. 
And then if you turn around and go, oh gosh, she's a bit more caring or nurturing, but that one's more smart. If, if you just don't one, think, but the thing you, is, you end up doing it like, see. oh gosh, she's doing things and, better, again, and, you know, again, and it's like you praise, but the other person like again, going, well, it's the same thing, isn't it? Like, because if you think about, because that's what she was, she brought up the other day. Like, I I must have said something about one of the kids, and I was like, hmm, and I can't really say that that was right of me to do so yeah because, because, because if you compare going, the difference because yeah, i remember yeah. when i was younger and i couldn't make the roti properly and my mom would just like crazily go mad at me all the time i couldn't do them right and she'll compare me to x y and z um cousin sister of mine or someone Horrible, and it's, it's, it? it's different that's you doing something whereas what Raina said the other day i was like yeah i get it but like i think sometimes we don't we don't mean to but so, with, with circumstances things are going on and you think hold on wait a moment and i had said what i said because See, like now, I could just say straight away, and again, I, when I look at Raina's traits, I could say she's very much a leader, she's a go-getter, she just yeah, yeah, gets things done and stuff like that. But now, if the others weren't that, and they won't do that, it doesn't make them anything less. No, but the thing and is they might they look at it and they're going, like, so you're trying to say that I don't go out there, I'm not a chief, I'm, I'm not a leader, I'm just basically it. sit on the fence and not, no, 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 no. They've all got different traits and all their traits and strengths so, are good for them. I get it. But, but then when can you actually say that to an individual without the other one taking an offence? Because that's how I feel like it has been. But it depends what you're saying. And how you're saying it as well. Uh, yeah, it's because what I'm, you're saying. You can turn around and say, uh, you know, someone is doing really well. Look, yeah. just let you know that so and is doing really well. Yeah. Or it's, this person was here at this point and I'm glad that they've so much more wiser or yeah. you know doing better than they did that's you still talking nicely and showing that there's been changes made but you're not turning around and going this person's a lot better than you are or you know mm -hmm. making them feel like oh god that this person does this that you don't i'm just generalizing yeah. kind of thing because then it's more or less going these traits of this person are great and you haven't got I those. I get that, but at the end of the day, they're still, they are still very young at the moment and the, the, the way they, you know, kids do behave, adults, even V, like you, you, you know, sometimes you have to like put it in perspective, like hold on, there's progress here with this and you being this, X, Y, and Z. I, you know what I mean? Like I expected you, which it shouldn't be the case, but it's like with things that are going on, sometimes it just comes out. It's not you trying to compare the, no, the lot of them. So much goes on with all the see, siblings. That there's so much going on and you're like, oh my God, you see a change in one and you think, oh, hold on, ain't you the oldest? It's or always it's, it's crazy. willing you can't... to listen. I think even like me, there's times when I've had a long day and I've been working on stuff down. I've like come downstairs, I finally sit down and then someone like Vera will come and he'll say, Dad, can you fix this and sort this? And I'm like going, oh. and then he, he'll want it done right away. And I've just had a long day. I, I mean, it doesn't happen often, honestly. But, uh, you know, every odd time, it's like when you're overworked and you've been nonstop and things ain't working out for you. I think I've just like, you know, something like a comment like, oh my God, why do people have kids? You know, like <laughs> something like that, yeah. you know, which people will say. And, you know, but my other daughter or everyone will take like you know they won't say anything then but later on the next day they're like hey, that, don't say that you know because you don't understand he might look at it and go in you know i wish you know i didn't I, have kids or you wasn't here or you, you are making he's making you feel tired and stressed out whereas he isn't responding and he isn't and then i just go and the, the good thing is they can say that to me and i you know at that time I'm like tired and exhausted i'm just like oh just want to be left alone and because um, it could be like nine or ten, all I want to do is switch off and go to sleep. But then the next day, when that slight like addressed, I don't turn around and go, calm the dad, you know what? I just said, yeah, I didn't mean that. I'm not. I actually go, yeah, what? Actually, I don't want him to feel like that because he didn't make me feel like that. And I made a comment and I see where you're coming from and why he might take it that way. And then I'll go and I do actually go and speak to him and say, yesterday, I mentioned this. Yeah. And, you know, it. It's you didn't do anything, yeah. and you know I'm, and by that comment, don't take it anything yeah. seriously, and this, that, and the other. And he'll just look at me and go, "I didn't," you know, which is fine, but he could. So it, him, me, just approaching him and saying those things, he knows that I've heard some, I said something or did something. Now I've come back to him, and then Lisa reassured, yeah. even if he didn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. So guys, we're not the perfect parents. Basically, they don't forget, and it depends on how they see things. It's always totally different what we might be thinking. And knowing that, remember, our mindset is now, as an adult, 
children see things differently. So what we would have seen things as a child, yeah. we don't see them in that sort of same, same, way. same way. And we don't understand in the and same way, what, and that's the same thing with them. This is what I was going to say. At the moment, they see us and say, you know, like you said the other day, oh, why do people have kids? Or this, it's just yeah. the same, offload, that you're tired. You know, you're going to go into a separate room just to say something like that. You just say, you don't think about yeah. it. I guarantee you when they're at a certain age in life as well, and they go through it, they're like, oh, I completely understand what mom and dad went Yeah, through. but at the don't moment, they it. wouldn't. They at the moment, they'd be going, that. oh, God, it's, am I still stressing him yeah. out and, but he's my dad yeah. you shouldn't be like, you like know, I haven't done nothing that, yeah. only asked him X, Y and Z I haven't been around him all day long I asked yeah. him one thing and he's been doing all this I don't matter yeah. and he doesn't care but I still do the thing don't get me wrong it's not it's that like, it's just like it's oh. like with me and my older daughter Raina so like she'd want to talk to me and we talk about everything we have done but there's been particular things that I feel like I'm avoiding to talk about with her um, which she has, we have, and I, I know she probably thinks I don't want to as well because me being a mom, I get really defensive. Like, so it's like, how do you like you want to be a friend and a parent, a, pa- a friend that your your kids can talk to you about, especially at that age because they want to tell you. They want I think to, you're always gonna be, you're always gonna be a parent. You are, uh, but then there's that, you, and then you have that defensive side. That's my child, or whatever she's going through, whatever, like, <coughs> whatever it is, it's affecting her. And then she doesn't want to hear, you know, whether it's a relationship or this or that. And but I'm like, maybe that's the thing that you got to like, ask. Where do you back off? Well, like, because I know it affects. And then she wants to close up and not okay. and talk about it. But then slowly, slowly she does. How I would look at it. See, even now I'm just like giving it's, answers. It's, so yeah. it's different. It's so crazy. I think, like I was saying, my original thing, what I was started with talking, like, you know, she, this girl obviously said that she can't talk to her parents. They're very strict. And I just think that it depends on it. Has, a per, has she tried? Right. Yeah. And, you know, obviously, you know, your parents more than anyone else. Yeah. I don't think I could have spoken to my. I, I think I yeah. have tried or I wished. Uh, I've even tried to talk to him as an adult. And I just felt like it's like deaf oh, ears kind of thing. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, we heard. Yeah, don't matter. <laughs> I'm like, OK, then. Um, and this is me again being honest. So from that, I guess you have to learn. But this what we're saying is we still have to continue. It's about adapting mm-hmm. and still understanding you. When you haven't had good role models, you haven't had people, you know, show you how to be a good yeah. parent it's and stuff like that. You're something you're learning. You're something you're learning. Yeah. And then when you're trying to be a parent to children, it's like you try to be natural. It's like, you know, I was like going to work and all that. You was always around them. And so it was just like learning as you go. But then as they get older, it changes how you are. Like you said, how you do a parent, but oh. also like a friend. Yeah. Um, but it's I think... Different stages of life they're going through. They exactly. need to be different ways. But then how do you be that different person without really ruining your relationship with them? They may be able to talk to you, but then you're like, there's some things that do upset you. I, and you're I like, you think, want to say what you want to really say. With every single parent, I think the main thing is, it's like they want to protect their kids. They want to keep them safe. Right, but they always want to come across as strong. Mm. So because parents want to come across as strong, because how are you going to protect them if they don't? You know, mm. that they at the end of the day, then the kids feel like that they can't talk to you, and more or less you are already creating this sort of like there's us and you mm. kind of thing. Yeah. And um, I think parents are also afraid to be vulnerable. Mm. I don't want to hear some things uh, that you want to talk. Because it'll affect See, I'm, me. I'm not like that with them. It's not I'm not saying you are, okay. but I'm just saying in general, parents don't want to yeah. hear. Yeah. Because if they turn around and go, I'm going out with this person I'm in love, and like already they're like thinking about a million things of so and so is going to think this, so and so is going to say that, wife it doesn't work out, wife this person ain't the right person, then what I'm going to. See, it's see, already people start for looking me, at. For me, the difference there is that the girls are very much open when they want to talk to me. The youngest daughter, she'll come home and tell me everything. Older ones like that as well, but the older one, I feel like she gets a bit like. She wants to tell me, but then I, when I see and sense certain things, and obviously mom with experience or mom knows, and it's like, I want to say to her in the nicest way at first, like, you know, because you know what I'm like. If I want to be honest and open, I can be, be like, just say it how it is. So I try to And I think that's around. what she, she, you tiptoe around her. Yeah. And she tiptoes around, around you. you. So it's like, she, because I do, she wants to always tell asked, her mom yeah. everything and anything. But she does it in the very slow sort of ways of going about it. So it's like if it's, she could see that mum's getting a bit triggered and about she's very good. guns about it. Yeah. Like, you know, not guns about, but you know what I mean? Like, as in, oh my God, mum looks like, it's like, I don't want anything. Uh, but I love like, what I love okay, about Okay, then she just like moves back and goes, let's what just I leave love it. About and her, then she'll come again. What I love about her. Come again. Yeah. Come again. What I love about her is that about her. She's so like, 
she wants us to regardless of anything we go through or what we see again guys you like think we have the perfect family the perfect relation we all argue we all like on each other's toes we all kind of get on each other's nerves even before we sat here me and him kind of argued i was like dude sort your suit sort yourself out but i do think so, we do end up still telling each other stuff we do so with her like i just love that about her we, i think what we do is as a group yeah it's like uh we sort of basically it doesn't matter if it's good we don't turn around and go well we know better than you i i think it's just this only this one little scenario that i was saying right at the start in which i'll come back to i think in general what ends up happening you come up you hear something from them you talk to me either i sort of like try to understand it and process it yeah and then if you're a bit worked up i go yeah but you have to look at it like that or if i'm like going mm, what's going on you go like this or one of the other kids if it's to do with Rhea or Raina then Casey will turn around and go but dad you gotta look at it like that mm. uh, or mum you gotta I look at it like that I love that about us though and then Raina will do the same thing like now she just did, did. with something yeah. and Raina just went like we're on the call with her yesterday and Raina went mum dad you gotta let me be like this and this and can happen and that you know it's a good thing and, and you guys gotta be talking and we're there going okay you're right you're right there and it's like that and it's like going can you see because of this what this that and the yeah. other what you might be feeling so it's like each individual in our family is already looking at the other person and going but do you like see what that person might yeah. be feeling and i'm going oh okay see yeah, yeah at that point there but i can turn around and say like I, again going back to Raina, like with the way she is regardless of what goes on she still comes back and she still want to tell you and i've said okay how do I, for example i remember this like a year and a half ago she wanted to tell me something and i was hoovering away and she rang and went on voice call and she's like mom i need to ask i need some advice and i was like okay what is it and she told me what was going on and i just didn't know what to say to her because i thought if i tell her the truth she ain't gonna like what i have to say and i just didn't know how to and then I, it was like a year later i told her i said remember when you asked me that this is why I didn't tell you because I could feel it and I know I can't do that with you but she will still always come back and then it's like now you're saying that we will listen to her like now we are we're becoming that like it's a different stage you're like okay because we don't want to go through what we did where we we our parents didn't yeah. care what we said even now, now you try and say well you were like this with us then it goes over the head even now recently V said something didn't he yeah yeah and uh, you know and he he had a little bit of a tiff with the, one of his sisters yeah he was feeling like and he was like going um, you know, I'm not going to let her in my room and you know what I mean? And yeah. this, that and the other because she didn't contact him for a bit and uh, he was like going, so he had a bit of a mood on him. And uh, so when she comes, she did come over to see him, but he was like going, well, next time she comes and uh, I'm not going to... Can gonna, you ask me permission Can you ask first? me permission before she comes into my room? She just came into my room and you like didn't... And I, just because I'm 11 doesn't mean that, you know, and, and I went, yeah, all right. Okay, no worries. I understand where you're coming from. Yes, if that is the case. So we did that. And then uh, daughter comes back home and like forget all that. They're you know like what I mean? their best. So books. he was there like going, you like the whole, you know. Would, and then that's it. He, he's not awake. Like you know, it's like he forgets it. But the thing is, it's that you know what I mean. How they yeah. are kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. It's like what they want to say and what they're feeling. And it's yeah, all, but going back to that, it's like it's fine. Like now we're coming to understanding. Like you know what, we need to listen to them. Like what Raina said yesterday. There is even Casey. There's conversation. Okay, seeing it from their point of view, taking it board and being a bit like okay. Um, but it's not the same with I don't feel like when we try to express or say something it's not like they I don't know I just don't feel like it's a two way thing that they're like oh, okay the just, yeah like do you know what I mean because um, at the end of the day they're still kids they're, they're like okay we want you to understand what we have to say but like there's a, no point it's it's got to be a two way thing isn't it but we, we are we're like mm. kind of I think at the end of the day, you're parents, ain't you? Mm-hmm. you? You know what? They, they still have to grow, mature and understand things. And they still have trying to understand themselves. We didn't have time to understand ourselves. No. And I feel like, you know what? It's good that they're trying and to understand themselves. And this is, themselves. you know what I love about us as well? And the kids probably not at the moment. I do look at it thinking, shit, they're probably thinking that we really don't care. We're not there. We don't have the time. We don't always... But I love the fact that we don't interfere in their lives. They get on with stuff. We're not 24-7. What are you doing? What are you up to? I, it's because I feel like they need to be, they need to, uh, you know, be built, like, as in relying on us all the time, like mm. making them that character. I, I think what each child needs to is, or, you know, are the children that are more or less grown up now. I think what they need is obviously the independence. Yeah. But I think they need to find themselves. Not, I don't mean career-wise, like, we're going, oh, what are you going to do with your job? And, you know, what's it? As in who they are, what they like, you know, and not trying to, you know, they got to 
better themselves each day but not compete against each other they're not the same yeah. they're not you know yeah. they all want different things but then come back and bring that person like you yeah. know what i mean For, uh, have that space where they're doing the stuff that they're doing because That's i always feel like you know needed. like now when you're at home when our kids are about it's more or less going we're bored and they could be bored and like what you guys are gonna do kind of thing whereas i feel like when they're out there they're yeah. like going what we're gonna do with our friends or what we're gonna do with ourselves yeah. and you know and then they discover that it's not up to somebody else yeah. to entertain or do something with us or f- make us feel happy it's about what we want to do that makes us feel happy yeah, yeah. but i think with us when we had our kids we were still sort of we had them around they made us happy kind of mm-hmm. thing and we were you know busy trying to make sure that they had a good life mm-hmm. whereas i feel like if we didn't have kids at the start then we were more or less it would have been like what are we going to do mm-hmm. what do we enjoy and that's what we're coming to now like you were saying at the start yeah, going yeah, to yeah, these yeah. concerts and things and also, we're doing it now you know like looking at like and we, we, they're so independent we're giving that time they're all they it's it's a bit sad because i remember at one point like you've got all your friends at uni and they probably are ringing home all the time they're doing x y and z like involved in the family where we've been quite busy with work um you know various different things going on all the time at the beginning yes we were there constantly giving a call because it was all new but also we had to back off as well where i feel like there's some parents that are there 24 7 like they want to ring every night the two girl roti kali i don't think that's not needed at all it, it, it might be nice but i feel like sometimes you just need to let them and it's a space because they need to have time to think and absorb because you're just there nothing's changed you're still in their space you're still in there you know yeah. like you, you you still it's like it's they, like when you go to someone's house and it's gone you, they're telling you everything of what they've heard at like how back in the days you used to go to someone's and they'll be like xyz like lay it all out to you and you're like oh you know like shit there's a lot yeah going i do on. think you need your own space i think many parents don't even have that like no, you know they, they're more no. or less like feel like i job and responsibilities to keep calling and find out if they're okay have they reached i mean that when, they know that we love Raina them they know before, we love it's them it's like that when they first started going out you would call and say have you made it home safely have yeah. you done this now you remember she's there all the time looking yeah. after herself so she goes to work and all that so when she catches a train i don't message and say have you got that have you got there safely mm-hmm. and this and the other i just go because you well, can't win I either way I, I look at it and i'm going i expect at my one daughter. point you're like can you leave me oh my god i'm like i'm an adult now i can do what yeah. i want and then it's like then it's like well, no, no i mean i care the, the, only, the only thing is I, I i care i just don't have to i know that my daughter is capable of taking care of herself yeah. so i don't need to like you know go have you made it home mm-hmm. no 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 i i know she's capable yeah and i know if there was an there was an issue then she would contact me yeah you know what I mean? So why should I have to just keep on making her feel like, oh God, you, you're my little baby, what are you doing? Yeah, mm. Have you got there? Have you got there safe? Did you catch a train? What time did you... Nah, come on. Mm. Can't do that. But yeah, going back to it, like I said, I think, I think every parent needs to just keep on evolving and changing and listening. Yeah. Remember, um, you know, kids know quite a lot. And not only that, it's like, we weren't, if we weren't able to speak to them, then we got to understand that, can our children actually speak to us? And if we look at it and we go in, our parents never understood us, then sometimes we're going to ask ourselves, do we understand our children? Mm-hmm. Or are we doing the same, exact same thing? Sorry, it reminded me of another, so, another scenario that's happened the other day. So, when Casey just couldn't come up to you, she's like, oh my God, he's driving me mad, mom. You know, this, that's how it is. It's like, as, yeah. as, par- as couples as well, it's like, we help I, each other. I, I think it's just the bite in the bullet. I think parents don't like to hear that we effed up. Mm. or we didn't do something right yeah uh, we want to basically go well we did the best that we can which every parent i'm guessing has done or w- would have tried mm. but it's not always the way that you know there's some kids that you know more or less going god we just want our space we want to mm. be able to do whatever we want and our parents don't let us yeah you know they tell us where to go what to do then there's some kids will turn around and say you know what our parents are just never there to listen they're always so busy and occupied when we even go to speak they, they just don't want to know. So it's that finding that middle ground of going, We've look. We've had that with them not. Like sometimes we're there too much and then you're like, yeah. oh, you're too strict. And now we're like, no, no you don't really like ring or, but you know. So finding like, the middle ground of going, okay, you guys are individuals who got to do what you got to do. Mm-hmm. You got to look after yourself, take care of yourself, just in case we're not here tomorrow, then I know that you're capable of looking after yourself. Yeah. Your life is your life. The person that you marry or 
want to live with or how, how many kids you want that's your choice and decision because if i'm not here tomorrow and you've done something just to make me happy then you got to live with it yeah you know but at the same time i'm there if you need me and you know that but at the, and i'm willing to listen but at the same you've got to live your life come and go and it's it's finding that you know that right balance but also it's been able for us parents to like hear the things that would probably go do you know, you know, really funny? Do you know really you're really a bad father you did this did that and if you're like going, oh do you want to like, know okay really funny if we've okay. got all the kids on the podcast with us here now they're like yeah right let's just let's just lay it out and <laughs> tell us what they're really <laughs> like <laughs> well, <laughs> i could tell you about 10 things that they say about you you'll tell me about 20 of me yeah, list is more of you. Jesus, it'd be really That's entertaining. Right. Excuse me? I said list is more of you. <laughs> I, I said that, you I'll say that, 10 things get, about you and 20 yeah, about I me. I said that just because I knew you'd get like, oh, okay. That is fine. No, I, I, I'm, I, I think the more older I'm getting, uh, I wouldn't say I'm getting wiser. <laughs> I'm still the same guy. No, I, I think I'm just getting more understanding to the fact that you know, I want my relationships with my children to be so much better. I'm with my partner, uh, but I'm... He's still, he's still getting there with to, me. Like, don't listen. To have create those relationships, you've got to make changes and you've got to be a lot more vulnerable. Yeah. And you and that's the thing. Yeah, that's with your partner as well. Changes and vulnerable. Vulnerable you are, oh my god. But changes oh my lord. He's around too many women, man. He's too vulnerable, this man is. Um there's nothing wrong with that. But like sometimes I have to be the man in the house. She's the man in the house. <laughs> Where the train <laughs> we, 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 we do that joke at Christmas as well when it's like Piss turkey up. time. We're like going, Piss all right, up. the man of the house. Like, and then all the kids will turn around and look at mum. Okay. I think that's just a joke that every parent... <laughs> I would like to know, is that Here's just a family the thing? Go ahead. The, 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 and, and she'll just go... The Karen mum gets the so, knife. So then she turns around and she'll just go, Piss off, it's your job. And I go, oh, okay, dear. <laughs> you know you were going to do it all the time anyway. Even on a Sunday roast, he does the same thing. Do you want to carve it? Do you want to cut it? Shut up. Well, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, too vulnerable. But I feel like there's there's some... Um, you know how you're, like, wanting to, willing to change, like, evolve around the kids and things and stuff like that? Yeah. It's about time we start changing yeah, it's, in our relationship. Yeah, it, it, well. it's, it's everything. That, that's the thing. It's a, it's about growth in everything, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so you so. know when I say little things, it does not affect you and you get too wound up about it. Like, before we started the show. What show? I was about to punch him. Like, he drives me insane. Have we lasted 24 years? I just don't even know. We haven't killed each it's other. It's charisma, my charm. Acha, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. This is my amazing personality. Oh, it's not, oh. It's not, it's not, you, it's not the money. It's not you being rich. That's what you used to say before. Yeah, because you spent it all. <laughs> I'm freaking what? I don't know. You I wouldn't don't... be here. If I spent it all. God. Jesus. Yeah. Anyway, that that was it. I, I just feel like I don't even know if we answered anyway, the question. Anyway, so yes, no, if we did answer the question. We want to rabbit it on about our own kids and everything else and how we no, are. Because I, think, people I, think I just we're... feel like when we look at things, when you look at other people's because they're looking in and they're just going, "Oh God, I wish we could talk to our parents like you guys." We do. Uh, we are. We listen to our kids. We do, but it's still understanding. You know, it's yeah. sometimes we try to process it and try to make each other understand what's going on yeah. and try to look at it in a different way. I think that's the network that we've glad that we've created. It's not like the other person going, well, sod them. You know what? That person doing this and they're bitching about each other kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then they're trying to fill our, you know, there's people out there who try to, you know what? No. Can't think for themselves. Fill, and they fill the other person's head in. So you could be sisters, could be brothers or, you know, filling the parents' head in. You're going to let them do that. That ain't right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and let them buy this. and let, You do get that. And I think I grew up, no, I'm not saying, mom, you know, but you get it's people a shame. Like, who that's, do that. Instead of going, saying. but mum, do you not understand what they, you know, that, actually they, it's a positive. You've got to look at it in another yourself. way. So it's, it's like that. Yeah, and I'm else. glad that we've got that. Yeah. You know, they're more or less trying to keep each other together and try to make us look at things in another way that we can resolve things mm. instead of like look at it in a bad way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I think that's, yeah. All that to me really, you know what I mean? Good parenting here, you know, I've just... Uh, I'll let him take that one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but anyway guys, that was the podcast for today. And if there is any other questions you guys would like to ask, then I don't know, maybe jot them down under this 
YouTube video or we'll like I said yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll come uh, up with I something I think anything I just think that I'll, we I'll can make open sure I it. share it somewhere and not only that it's like one of these questions that if you guys ask us doesn't matter if it's about money dating family parenting marriage whatever it is um I think it also makes us look at things as well because yeah. when we're answering it, we're doing it from the top of our head. It's like just basically like friends. We're not saying, oh God, we're therapists. I'm going to go into like this world of right, what books we read, like half these people do. And then they comment what someone quoted and all that. We're more or less just going to be like, say if you as a friend of ours or somebody and just went, oh, dude, I'm having a bad time, man. My missus just cheated on me and like, hey, shit, man. What's your fit? Why would I say was he fit? Was Do he I want to go out with him or something? I'd, I'd say that. Like you know what I mean? Was he fit? Was he worth it? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, come on. Yeah, don't come here. Yeah, ask us questions, man. Don't come man. here and ask questions. Yeah, We're gonna be really bad. It's, it's gonna be a mess up your life. It's even worse. <laughs> Uh, you know what I mean? God. No, but we'll try to get to it. And we'll have a bit of a laugh if we can. And uh, yeah, and don't take life too seriously. Well, you can, but you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, it's the time to disco. We've got to go. Okay, guys, that was the podcast for this week. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you on the next one. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Bye.